what's up you guys so if you already see my most recent video then you know I just got my hands on the brand new PlayStation 5 digital console so I'm going to be testing out the remote play feature on the new PS4 so I'm going to be basically combining my PS4 and my PS5 or more like linking both my PS4 and my PS5 together. That way I can access my PS5 using my PS4 from a different room. I've been testing out a bunch of different features and I'm going to keep testing out a bunch of different features to keep bringing you guys videos about, you know, how this thing works and then how best to optimize it, how best to use it to its full potential. So the remote play is a new feature that came with a new update. I'm gonna try to play NBA 2K21 on my PS4. It's in a different room right now and I'm going to connect it via Wi-Fi and then I'm gonna connect it via LAN or LAN cable. Whichever one works the best, you're about to find out. We're going to go into the settings menu right now so we can find remote play. So I'm gonna do that on the PlayStation 5 right now. You want to make sure that you have enable remote play Enabled so that's what I've got right there and then you can go ahead and link your device So you don't want to do it right here You're gonna do that on the ps4 So all you have to do right here is enable remote play so enable it so other consoles can find it So let's go ahead and try it out in the next room as you can see right here We've got ps5 remote play so it's a new feature almost like an app that you can just click to go directly into it But before that you want to make sure that you have your internet connection, you know, all well and good. So I'm gonna check mine to make sure that mine's all well and good. There's no way, there's no physical connection between both of them. So go, going over Wi-Fi is going to be kind of difficult. The PS4 struggles with anything that involves Wi-Fi. Using an ethernet cable is going to be a lot better. So let's check out the settings right quickly. Go into network, right there. And then we're going to set up internet connection. Use Wi-Fi, easy. And then Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna connect to one of them. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but the speed is extremely slow. Wi-Fi is never great, especially 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi with the PS4. So using that, the stream is not going to be good. It, it will not work pro properly, I can tell you that. But we'll test it out right now. My connection speed, which is my download speed, is basically 422.9 kilobits per second. And then my connection speed upload is 578.4 kilobits per second. Not even megabits, that's really low. So I'm gonna try to connect to the PS5 uh, using this via remote play So my ps5 is right there as you can see ps5 717 if yours it doesn't show like this Then you want to go ahead and search for it and then once it searches for it It'll find it as long as you're on the same connection. You have to be on the same internet It doesn't matter if you're on the same LAN cable or the same Wi-Fi So right now it's just searching for my PS5. As you can see, searching for your PS5, searching nearby. I don't know if you noticed, but everything looks like it's struggling to work right now. It's, you see that right now? The internet connection quality is low, so connection might be lost. Well, obviously, like I said, you're working off of Wi-Fi. It's not gonna give you the best. I can't even control, I can't do anything. It's just gonna disconnect eventually, right there. It's done, it's disconnected. Okay, we're gonna head back and switch from Wi-Fi to LAN. So we're gonna use LAN cable, which is an ethernet cable, so we have a boost in speed. I'm going to attach my LAN cable into the ethernet port on this thing right now. Okay, we're plugged in. So for the LAN cable, the download connection speed is 95 megabits per second and the connection speed for upload is 51.2 megabits per second. You see the difference in you know speed between when we had it before on Wi-Fi and now that we have it on LAN? It's, it's huge, it's massive. If you don't know much about megabits and you know kilobits and speed and all that, just know that it's a huge difference, huge. If you play with Wi-Fi with your PS4, you should stop doing that, trust me. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> I never did that even when I you know, played with it because I don't really play with it anymore as much. Let's get back to what we're doing right here. So I'm gonna go back to try to you know, remote play my PS5 you know, from here using the LAN cable option. Okay, so we're in, as you can see right now, it's a lot smoother, but I'm gonna show you guys a way to do it to make it always work or if you're struggling with internet connection. Like mine right now is smooth as you can see, my internet is pretty good, so it handles this pretty easily. So I'm going to open up NBA 2K21 and try to see how that works. 
Okay, this looks pretty good to me. This is a 1080p variation. I'm gonna show you guys the other ones in case you're struggling with quality of video. Okay, let's play a quick game. We're not really gonna play it, but we're just gonna kinda start one. Let's go. And look behind the curtain here. It's still pretty fast too. That's the funny thing. I thought it'd be slower because it was on the PS4, but I guess the PS4 is basically acting like a mirror for the PS5. So it's smooth. I don't feel like it doesn't feel any different right now. To be honest, I still feel like I can hit. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. Listen to this though. One sec, y'all. Listen to this right now. If there's one thing I'll tell you, it's that I'm not going to miss that sound. I'm not going to miss it, man. This thing is a jet engine. Jet engine. They put a jet engine in the PlayStation 4. This is basically remote play. This is the feature of playing using your PS4 to access your PS5, which is awesome. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this in this room and then I'm gonna have the other one in the living room. That way I have two PS5s in the house. <laughs> Sick, man. I like how they did that. So it's not, it's not really junk anymore or something I gotta get rid of or pack up. I can use it as a PS4 and a PS5, which is really sick. But I got one more thing to show you guys right now. So if your internet cannot handle 1080p like mine, for example, there's other options you can try if you're still struggling to get it to be smooth. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. When you're remote playing your PlayStation 5 on your PlayStation 4, you can also access two home screens. So you have a PS4 and a PS5 home screen. And to do that, all you have to do is this, tap the PlayStation button. So you tap it right there, then you get two home screens, your PS5 and your PS4. So these are different options you get for your PS5, your control center, your home, your mute, and your disconnect. And then you get one for your home, PS4. So I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller to play PlayStation 5 games on my PlayStation 4. So that's sick. So we're gonna disconnect this right quickly and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about with the remote play. If you're struggling to still remote play your PlayStation 5 through your PlayStation 4, then you can try these right here. So you can try to reduce the video resolution of the entire thing. And to do that, all you have to do is press on the options button right here. So the options button, you press on that and then you access the resolution menu on the right right there. And then you go ahead and reduce it to 540p. It's not going to look as good, but it'll work smoothly. So I'm gonna switch to that right quickly and show you guys what I'm talking about. You can try 720p standard first before you try 540p. So try 540p as like a last and a final alternative. But I, I can use 1080p because my internet's good. So if you have good internet, then 1080p will probably work well for you too. So let's switch to 540 and connect one last time. We're still using LAN cable, by the way. Wi-Fi is off the table. Doesn't matter what resolution. We're not using that ever. This is it in 540p resolution. So I'm gonna kind of move around so you guys see the quality. Maybe I'll even play a game. As a matter of fact, you know, I'll play a game right now. So I'm gonna go to the control center of the PS5 and then I'm gonna look for a play now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the quality is a lot less, but that's how it's supposed to be. It's half the resolution of the other one. So the other one looks smooth, but you need good, good internet for that. So ethernet cable, you gotta plug it in directly or you're not gonna get that. Not even with Wi-Fi, you can't even get 540p to be honest. You're still gonna struggle with that. That's basically it right there, man. The PS5 remote play function or feature is awesome. It's monumental for me at least. I was going to, you know, bag up my PlayStation 4 and put it in a box, probably get rid of it, you know, sell it. I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but now I'm going to repurpose it. So I'm going to use it so I can have, you know, access my games and keep on playing my games in a different room. That's awesome, man. I'm going to set this up in my bedroom and just play from there when I'm not playing in the living room. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe you know, to my channel. We're going to be doing a lot more PS5 content. I don't know if you guys have seen what games I've gotten, but I've gotten the NBA 2K21. If you like sports game, then you're gonna like that. I've also gotten um, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is a really good game, and I really, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man, and I played the original Spider-Man game, so this is gonna be fun for me, and I'm gonna be posting uh, about stuff that I find within, within the game, cool things, cool things that I can do or I can figure out within the game as well on my other channel, so check that out if you're interested in seeing, you know, gaming content on this console. The link will be down in the description. I would really appreciate it if y'all check it out but if you're not interested in gaming then well maybe not that's all i've got for you guys in this one if you enjoy videos like this and want to see some more like it make sure to check out my unboxing video and i'll catch you guys in my next video it's midas now i'm out y'all <laughs>